The final report I have compiled is from one of the most learned individuals in the wastelands. Dr. Victor Heisenberg is a sage from the now defunct town of Requiem. He has been studying the unstable and the secrets of who created them since initial contact and discovery, and has delved deeply into the conspiracy behind the ironworks and Project Rock Salt. He has agreed to share what he has learned with the wastes, though it puts him in terrible danger. Here is his report. Knowledge is power, for the oppressed lacking information is a form of control. By the time this is heard, I hope that the diligent po work of our postmasters have made known what several of us have known for years. There was a head collected at Devil's Den, and I had a report compiled. Some of you may remember the author, Dr. W. S. Phineas, from the recent gathering of Twelve Knots, where we learned more about the prefall and Project Rock Salt, or from certain literature regarding vexing prefall pastries. The creatures we saw at Devil's Den are not the creatures we know today. The Postal Service has shown that they are capable of speech and that they are currently the subject of the Ironworks enslavement. Scions would attack people around them until they were killed. And unlike the strains of humanity, the first unstable were unable to come back from death. A Vlasov Jaka riding freedom fighter is not a creature whose head was shipped in a box for examination. This is a strain born in chains, but resisting their fate. With vigor, they have toppled the likes of the Black Pyramid, 33 Black, and the Soulless Pharaoh. This is not a creature to be feared, but a strain to be embraced. The Ironworks saw it fit to stamp their creation with an amalgam of a co-opted symbol from the prefall. The square and compass, a symbol still used by the Lineage League, previously used by a prefall group known as the Masons. The all-seeing eye associated with prefall notion of a Illuminati, a shady group of individuals who control the fate of the entire world. With a simple Latin phrase at the bottom, order ab chow, order out of chaos. The most important and intriguing of these symbols is the 137, also known as the 33rd prime number. The inverse of 137 is also known as a concept in physics known as the fixed structure constant. As defined by a good friend, Max Capacity, it's pretty too hard to explain. But basically, it is a number almost written by the hand of God. It, the inverse, as Max would put it, would mean the destruction of reality or the seizure of the divine right of creation. The point being is we define the ironworks as something singular, when they're really something more. A many-headed hydra with the ability to understand advanced physics and to create life. An enemy that fashions themselves as the creator of a new world order, that seeks to model themselves after the Illuminati, much as the orchestrators of Project Rock Salt sought to flip a switch and preserve a population they could control. The Ironworks propagates the same ideologies with the creation of the unstable. However, much like who, those who burn the world during the fall, the Ironworks underestimate what they have created. A new strain ready to fight with the rest of us against their antiquated institutions, the decisions of a few will not again determine the makeup of the world. We as the strains of humanity will determine our future. Thus concludes the collected reports. Much in the waste is rapidly shifting these days. The Gossia falls, the ironwork struggles to maintain its power base. The fleets of the AC sink beneath the waves and the likely fall the Rat King swiftly approaches. At the beginning of this series, I mentioned an individual who was asked me to compile these reports. I met them while helping freed slaves navigate the rover trails and, although they were initially hesitant, they have agreed to speak to the wastelands on their topic of expertise. This individual is an unstable, one of the new kind that has freed themselves in the confines of the ironworks. They have agreed to answer questions submitted by the wasteland so that they and their people can be better understood and less feared as they enter our world. Send your questions and they will answer them to the best of their ability. The wastes are changing. It is up to us to ride that change into a better tomorrow for ourselves, for those that will come after us, and for those that are just now emerging to enter our world. It is on each and every one of us to be that change and to fight for a better tomorrow. May your roads be safe.
This concludes the collector reports of Dr. Zaris Oros Babadook. Stand by for the next broadcast.